Empathy is a highly desirable trait. It allows us to form intimate, authentic connections with other people. An empathetic person who hears your vulnerable words like, I feel ashamed, I'm worried that, I feel sad because, will imagine what it must have felt like to be you in that moment. They will show this emotion on their face as they imagine your pain. They'll use validating words like, that must have been really hard, scary, or frustrating for you. They will repeat what you've said back to you to show that they're listening. Hmm, so you're saying that you don't feel like you're ready for a long-term relationship because it's hard to trust others. Maybe the empathetic person will share something from their own life to show that they can relate to your feelings. I remember when I split up with Elise, it was really hard for me, but it does get better with time. Therapy was super helpful for putting it behind me. You can also be an empathetic person by asking, is there anything that I can do for you right now? You're offering an act of service if they need it, which makes them feel validated. Chances are just listening to them will be enough, but perhaps you'll be asked for a hug. You can also ask them, can I give you a hug? The same way that our parents hold us as babies when we cry, physical contact is nurturing if you allow yourself to be nurtured, which is a vulnerable act. One of my most memorable hugs was when a friend of mine opened up to me and we hugged for 30 seconds. After 10 seconds, I felt a release. His neck relaxed into mine and I knew that he was feeling the calmness that came with allowing himself to be nurtured. And then we just stood there for another 20 seconds, hugging in silence. Empathetic relationships use different forms of love languages to show each other that they feel valued, heard, and worthy of being loved. That we understand the importance of calmness in ourselves and know how good it feels to help someone else find it in themselves. Like I mentioned in my fulfillment episode and feeling like you're part of something that's greater than yourself, there's a lot of fulfillment in being empathetic to other people. Even with the right intentions, the words you use can have a profoundly different effect. Instead of asking people, what's up? You can ask, hey, how have you been feeling lately? Instead of what's new, you can ask, what are some things that you've been thinking about lately? If someone opens up to you, there are less effective responses like staying silent or just saying, oh, or that sucks. They may have the intention of being empathizing, but someone being vulnerable with you would much rather hear, I hear you, or that must have been challenging for you. Showing that you're trying to imagine their feelings rather than just telling them what they already feel makes a big difference to someone who just wants to feel loved in their vulnerability. Take note of these ideas and steal some of my sentences so you can think about how you can be a more empathetic person for the people you care about. Think about how you can ask people in your life to be more empathetic for you. It takes a lot of practice and in order to improve, you should spend some time thinking about what empathy practice should look like in your life. Get a pad of paper, write down your thoughts.